Hello guys, it's Johnny time again and welcome to another DeFi tutorial. Today we are going to cover the new PancakeSwap analytics and info, info website and basically what kind of interesting data we can find out of it and how can we find good liquidity pools where we can use to stake our tokens and earn massive yields and massive fees upon trading. So if you go to PancakeSwap, the main website, you can click on the left menu info and you can see that there is the new badge on it because it's a new feature that they just launched last week. And basically we have three main views. The main one is overview and then we have pools and tokens. So let's cover now the overview. Right here on the overview, we can see the total amount of liquidity that is provided on all the liquidity pool on the pools on PancakeSwap together. We can see that in the all time high, high back then in May, it reached almost $8 billion. And now it's around $4 billion. And you can see the difference and the charts of the different liquidity that is being provided. Then on the right side, we can see the volume by 24 hours divided by 24 hours. Volume means how much tokens have been traded, traded back and forth. Let's say I'm swapping, I'm buying cake using BUSD. It means that it's a trade and it's a volume. So this is calculated in US dollars. Also the liquidity is in US dollars. And you can see the volume actually. The more volume there is in PancakeSwap, the more fees the liquidity pool tokens holders will get because that's how the smart contract works. Every swap that is being made, there is 0.15% that is going to the liquidity pool providers, the ones who bought the liquidity pool token. So the more volume your earnings will be higher because the fees will be higher. The more liquidity, usually depends on your liquidity pool token, your share in the liquidity pool will be smaller and your fees will be lower. This is very important to understand. So you can see that in all time high, the volume was on one day on my May 19. I think this was the day where they did the battles and I think, and I think they're going to bring back the battles. And I'm very excited about it because the trading fee is going to be higher and I'm going to earn more because I provide a lot of liquidity in package swap. And also a lot of cake is being born as well, burned as well. And I have a lot of cake tokens, which is good. So, seven billion dollars volume 24 hours now it's around 300 millions 400 millions but i'm i really hope and i expect these volumes to go up because crypto is here to stay DeFi is here to stay and packing swap is here to stay and get even bigger now we can see here the top tokens in terms of liquid, I think it's sorted by volume. Yeah, by volume. So it's sorted by volume. So these are the most traded tokens right now on Packet Swap. The higher the volume, it means that more people swap these tokens and trade them. You can see that definitely the biggest one is BNB. Then we have BUSD, USDT, Cake, and Baby Dogecoin whatever and you can see also the price change the current price all the things that you need to know about the tokens that are being swapped and traded in pancake swap we have another nice view if we scroll down a bit is the top pools here we can see the largest pools again it's so in that case it's sorted by liquidity which are the pools that the most amount of liquidity is being supplied so you can see that the biggest pool right now is cake wrapped BNB and it has more 580 million dollars locked okay so this is the volume for the last 24 hours the volume for the last seven days last week and these are the fees that basically the liquidity pool providers has earned based on the volume the higher the volume the fees will be higher and this is also interesting, the liquidity pool reward APR. This is the APR, the annual yield that the liquidity pool providers, the LP token holders earn on yearly basis, annually basis. So, so you can see that basically uh, the, right now the APR for this cake world BNB is around 2.5% yearly. But we have this farm, okay, this farm USDT wrap BNB that it's 
percent. So basically, if you provide USDT and wrap BNB, you will get 16 percent yearly uh, return yield only when you buy the liquidity pool tokens. It's not related to cake rewards. It's not related to the farms. Just upon adding the liquidity, taking 50% of USDT, 50% of BNB, RAB BNB, and creating liquidity pool token, holding the liquidity pool tokens, your liquidity pool tokens will worth more and more in the future because the fees are being uh, distributed among the liquidity pool tokens holders. So once you disassemble the liquidity pool tokens to the two original tokens, you might get more USDT and well wrapped BNB. Of course, there is also impermanent loss involved, but I'm not gonna cover this in this video. I will have another dedicated video to uh, wrapped BNB. So, uh, we can see all the farms here, all the different farms, but first, before we move on, make sure that you are subscribed to my channel, click the bell notification button, so every time I post, new tutorials, the punk punk swap that you can learn better about DeFi, you will see my videos first. If we scroll down a bit more, oh, one thing that I forgot to mention is that the liquidity reward APR is being calculated by the fees in the last, I think it's in the last 24 hours. I'm not sure I will check out, or I don't know if they calculated based on seven days or 24 hours. If someone can enlighten me in the comments below, I will be more than happy. But you can see that right now, this is the highest APR pool. And this is just by holding the liquidity pool tokens, the WAP BNB and Baby Dodge. After this, there is the Cake BUSD. I think it's based on 24 hours, but I'm not sure. So these are the volumes. This is the volume for seven days, liquidity pool reward fees for the 24 hours and the liquidity. All the fees are being divided upon the liquidity providers. Now we can see here all the recent transactions, another cool view. So we can see everything, swaps, adds of the liquidity. When people add liquidity to the liquidity pools, you will see it here and removes. Very, very straightforward, very, very simple. Now we scroll up and we go to pools. So now we can see basically the same uh, widget that we just have here. We had it here and same as tokens, the same widget that we saw there. But now we're gonna cover a, how a token view looks like. So we're gonna click on cake token, on clay token, and now we get into the view of the token itself. So here you can see the breadcrumbs, you can see that you're under home token and then cake token, you can see all the, also his uh, Binance chain wallet address, a contract address that represent this kind of token. The name of the token, the symbol, the price, the 24 hour change, a button, a link here to view the token on Binance Smart Chain. You can see the cake tokens, you can read its contract right here. Everything that you need on the Binance Smart Chain, BSC scan. You can click here and directly add liquidity to this token. Actually, it's interesting. Yeah, so you can, it basically automatically redirects you to the liquidity page and selecting for you already as base token, the cake token. So this is a nice button that, oops, let's bring back the page. Yeah, so this is a nice button that leads you directly to adding liquidity for this and you can trade it. Probably this will lead you to the exchange. So this leads you to exchange and selects the token automatically. And what else do we have here? So we have all the liquidity that we have for this token. The volume for the 24 hours, this is basically the same data that we had um, in the last view, in the summary view. But right here we can see even more in-depth data in terms of the volume. You can see how much the volume is being changed in the recent days, in the recent months, from 24 April to this day, 4 July. You can see the liquidity, how many people provide liquidity or remove liquidity. We see that right now people remove liquidity, which is a good time to enter, right? You want to buy when everyone is scared. That's where you're going to get into DeFi. Buy cake tokens, take them. It's not a financial advice, but that's what I'm doing. Don't buy the hype. Don't buy it when it's the hype, when everyone talks about it, when Dogecoins reaches almost one million, one billion, sorry, one billion dollars market cap. No, that's the time to accumulate. That's the time, in my opinion, to buy cakes and stake liquidity and use DeFi. 
Here you can see also a chart, a very nice chart of the price. You can zoom it out with the scroller, zoom in, move around, very, very nice candlestick and all the pools that are related basically to this token. So let's say you have a token and you wanna get money for it passively. So you have a cake token and you don't know what kind of uh, liquidity you want to provide, what will bring you the highest amount of APR, highest amount, more fees, the more volume. So the more volume is being traded, the more fees, the more APR you will have. The more liquidity, the less fees because you get it's all divided between all the liquidity providers and then the lowest the lower apr you will get so here you can see all the pools that are related to the cake uh, token and actually the the nicest one is, right now is the cake busd and right after the cake usdt because people are swapping a lot probably trading the cake token with busd and usdt so we can see that the volumes for the seven days is quite high and we don't have that much liquidity because it's quite new liquidity pool tokens and also they introduced the farm so me myself i will tell you that i'm holding kqbsd kqsd and also i stake them on the farms to get an extra yield on my liquidity pool tokens to get extra uh, cake tokens so this is basically the nice farms that i'm using and you can see all the transaction swaps when people swap cake to other tokens when people add liquidity remove liquidity anything else you can also see here on the summarize now let's get into a look of a specific pool let's say you want to stay cake BUSD and you want to get more information about this pool so you can click it and now we are on inside the pool view you can see home pools cake BUSD so you can see the liquidity pool you can see the cake price, the BUSD price, you can directly add liquidity. So by clicking this button, you will be redirected to the liquidity page already selected by the two tokens and you can basically add the liquidity already. Now, um, let's go back to the last view. It's quite fast. I'm very impressed by the speed that this uh, actually analytics website is being loaded. Um, very impressive. So you can see all the liquidity that is provided. This is the LP reward APR. Ba oh, okay, now we can see it's based on seven days performance, not on 24 hours, but seven days. This is should bring us a better average of, I, I think it's better to calculate it for seven days rather than one day. Maybe it would be even better to calculate it for one month to get the some kind of average APR that you might earn yearly dividends. And you can see here the volumes and the fees for the 24 hours and for the seven days, the total token slogs for cake and for BUSD, that's actually a lot, $7.5 million. And this is the volume. Here you can see that on May 29, wow, this spike of trading fees. I can't wait for the bottles to come back because my liquidity pool tokens gonna earn so much. Imagine if these are the fees that you are earning, 18% based on the seven days. Imagine how many fees, how much fees you're gonna earn in this kind of week. Maybe five X more. So this is an amazing, this number is being changed dependent on the volume and the liquidity. The more volume you will get higher rewards. The more liquidity, this one I don't like so much because people are adding liquidity and taking my shares, but this is okay, this is free DeFi. Everyone is open, everyone can do his own choices but i hope that the liquidity will not go up so much so my rewards will get will not get high lower and this is a lot of information basically that you can just mine out of the information information website and this is amazing i'm very happy they launched it i'm using it myself to find nice pools with nice aprs my favorite uh, basically view is the pools and then sort them by apr and now we can see what kind of liquidity pool tokens let's say you have bunny token and you want to get extra yield for it you can just provide liquidity for bnb and bunny and get 15 percent more yearly okay and what the the most favorite my favorite favorite pools that i right now is the cake busd and the uh, um, cake usdt because pancake swap team offers you also a farm option for this kind of pool so if you go here uh, to the farm section, you can see that if you will search cake over here, you can see that you can get very nice 
APRs for CAC USDT and CAC BUSD. Notice, take, bear in mind that actually the APRs here, they, are, it, they did a different, they did a change in the calculation, the way they calculate it. So basically the APRs are conclude, concluding the farming rewards, the farming rewards, the cake farming rewards that they basically give for staking the liquidity pool tokens uh, in the farms and together with the the basically the APR that is being represented based on the fees on the earning which means that if you look at the cake BUSD 100% 101% APR it's actually 18.3% APR from the liquidity pool tokens from the trading the, the fees the volumes that is being generated upon swapping cake BUSD back and forth and additionally uh, we have a uh, 88, 82% extra that we get based on the multiplier here and the, the rewards that PancakeSwap is, is basically giving out based on the farms, the yield farm. So this is also important to understand that the APR view is being changed. I would appreciate actually if though they will, okay, they, they do state it here that the liquidity pool rewards are 0.7% fees distributed proportionally among liquidity pool token holders, not 0.15, but 0.17. And also, but maybe I would like to see if package swap team, maybe they will consider it, maybe divide those APRs to the fees from the liquidity pools and then the yield farm. So I will see maybe 18% plus, um, I don't know, maybe here even, 18% plus 82% in total, it's 100%, it will be much more uh, transparent easy and easier to understand maybe they will see this video and consider this kind of a uh, UI UX uh, feature and we will see so thank you so much for joining me for learning about DeFi I hope that this uh, video tutorial was helpful for you let me know if you have any questions let me know what kind of pools are you using if you have any suggestions uh, about what kind of pools are you staking, what kind of farms, what kind of strategies. If you have any ideas or uh, requests about videos that you want me to create in the future, please leave comments. I will also put the links for the PancakeSwap info, for the PancakeSwap website in the description below so you can access it very easily. Thank you so much for joining me and see you next time. Bye bye.